behind um I mean the curve. I mean, obviously, are, is, are people catching on to the curve? Do you do you see the change happening? Oh yeah, adopting. No. I mean, obviously, early adopters you've got, but I mean, is it becoming part of that bell curve where people are realizing this trend and, and jumping on? Oh, absolutely. And um, the funny part has been, you know, I certainly analyzed the top of the charts and was really focused on, you know, top pop music, rock music, things like that. But um, you know, a few months back, I actually met an avant-garde classical artist from Iceland last person I ever expected to find value in my book and he actually told me that he did some experimentations with his songs based on some of the theories in the book and found that it held true to his music and um, he basically what happened was is that he had a commercial song with a long introduction and he had a very personal non-commercial song that had no introduction at all and that personal song over indexed the commercial one by two to one. So it had very little to do with the quote unquote commerciality of the song. It actually had to do with the way that song engaged people. And he flipped out when he realized exactly why that was happening. And so I've got to believe it, if it can help avant garde classical artists from Iceland, it can help out just about any musician. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> but that tells you something there. I mean, that really tells you, does. <clears throat> tells you that it's. Um, crossing all these lines and it's more than just even a formula it's, it's what engages people yeah it's not the the stuff I talk about in future hit DNA my book is not about formula as much as it's about psychology when you read the book you actually go and see alright now I can understand how people are listening to music and how they're consuming music and what's going on in their minds while they're consuming my music and um, with that psychology, then all of a sudden, all of the data that backs it up makes sense. And then when I go into the book, I talk about technology's role in the past on how that shaped hits. Like people don't realize that the, uh, in the 50s, the hits were designated in a certain way and length largely because 45s can only hold up to three minutes of music and you had DJs who only had one turntable and no mixing board and so they had to queue up records differently than they did ten years later. All technological ideology that played into uh, why songs were the way they were in the 50s. People don't think about that. They just said, oh, it's a product of the time. Some of it was, you know, but the energy may have been. But at the same time, you know, you, know, you go back there, the energy wouldn't have been that way if Les Paul hadn't invented the electric guitar the way that he did, you know, two years before the rock music exploded. So technology has always had an impact on the type of music that, that people have created and have been successful. And 2010 is no different than that. And the next 10 years are going to be no different than that. But the amazing thing to me, the reason why I wrote Future Hit DNA is because no, just to your point earlier, nobody's talking about that. Nobody is talking about how do you make a song to fit into this technology. They're talking about subscription services and searches and people stealing music on download, but nobody's talking about how do you make the music to fit the technology. And that's that's why I wrote the book because without that, the music business will never grow. That's great. Thanks, Jay. Was that three minutes fifteen? Was it that? was three twelve. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not joking. <laughs> you think I'm? Jo I should stop and show. I'm not joking. I knew you were. Joking. <laughs> I was, it's like it was three twelve. Um, any last things you'd like to say? If you could, like, I guess buy my book. <laughs> buy my book. Yeah, absolutely. No, we'll we'll do that. You know what? And get me. Um, I'll get you my card. Sure, sure. And uh, get me that information because with our site, um, we'll put it up there. Absolutely. We'll make it a resource. And I do. And you, I can give you a link. We do. Um, we I have a a, a download link for a free.